What's up everybody? As you can see, I'm out here at the range today. It's a little bit windy, so I apologize in advance if there's any wind noise. Um, and it's a little bit chilly, but it's April here in Wisconsin, so it's pretty much par for the course. It's a good day out here at the range nonetheless, and I hope you all are having a good day as well. We're out here today to do some ballistics gel testing. The round that we're going to be testing is the 9mm 124 grain Federal Premium HST. As you can see, they have a little depiction here on the box that shows how the round is supposed to perform. We'll see if it actually performs that way. So we'll be using three different handgun barrel lengths ranging from 3.4 inches up to 4.5 inches. So for our subcompact handgun, we have our Glock 43X and all of these guns have been safety checked, they're all empty. We have our Glock 43X, this has a 3.4 inch barrel. Next up, we have our compact barrel length, and for that we have our Glock 19. This has a four inch barrel. Lastly, we have our full size barrel length, and I actually do not have a Glock 17, so instead what we're gonna be using is my Glock 23 with a nine millimeter conversion barrel. Um, this has a 4.5 inch barrel length, Similar to a Glock 17, it should perform almost identically to a Glock 17 in terms of muzzle velocity and terminal ballistics. The way that this testing is going to work is we'll start out with the chronograph. We'll fire five shots from each handgun through the chronograph, average up the numbers, and see how they compare with one another. Then we'll move on to the ballistics gel testing. The ballistics gel that I have is 10% gel from Clear Ballistics. We'll fire two shots from each handgun into the bare gelatin and see how they compare with one another in terms of penetration and expansion. Then we'll go ahead and do another gel test where we fire two shots from each handgun into the gel from 10 feet, but this time the gel is going to have four layers of clothing in front of it. So we're gonna start out with the Glock 43X. One thousand one hundred forty two. One thousand one hundred nineteen. One thousand one hundred twenty seven. One thousand one hundred twelve. Got a duplicate there. We'll go again. One thousand one hundred twenty one. Next up, we have our Glock nineteen with a four inch barrel. One thousand one hundred fifty seven. One thousand one hundred seventy six. One thousand one hundred seventy seven. Duplicate will go again. One thousand one hundred seventy nine. Another duplicate. One thousand one hundred sixty three. All right, next we'll test out the four and a half inch barrel. 1,220, 1,219, 1,207, duplicate, another duplicate, 1,189, another duplicate, another duplicate. 1,202. All right, so I went ahead and did some quick math here. The Glock 43X with a 3.4 inch barrel gave us an average muzzle velocity of 1,124 feet per second with an average muzzle energy of 348 foot-pounds. The Glock 19 with the four inch barrel gave us an average muzzle velocity of 1,170 feet per second with an average muzzle energy of 377 foot-pounds. The Glock 17 barrel or the uh, 4.5 inch full size barrel gave us an average muzzle velocity of 1,207 feet per second with an average muzzle energy of 401 foot pounds. So that may or may not be significant depending on how you look at it, but we'll go ahead and do the ballistics gel testing and see how they perform side by side. 
um, but one of them stayed in the gel. This is more so just a control test, so um, as long as we have one good one, I think we're fine. Uh, we'll move on to the Glock 19 with the 4-inch barrel. Let's go ahead and take a look. All of the rounds expanded, what appears to be flawlessly, I'll dig them out of there in a moment, and the penetration all falls within that 12 to 18 inch range. Our first shot with the subcompact barrel, you can see curved off to the left and did pass through at eight and a half inches. We have another one on the far left there at 12 and three quarter inches. The two right here and here are from the compact barrel. Those also fall right at 12 and 3 quarter inches. The full sized barrel pushed us out a little bit further there and there at 13 and 3 quarter inches and 14 and 3 quarter inches. Here are the results from the bare ballistics gelatin. As you can see, they all expanded to roughly the size of a dime. This is from the subcompact barrel, compact and full-sized. Um, the expansion is very symmetrical, very uniform throughout. Uh, the minimum expansion out of the subcompact barrel was 0 0.601 inches with a max expansion of 0 0.621. You can see it looks really good. Uh, with the compact barrel, max expansion was 0 0.63 inches with a minimum expansion of 0.616 inches. And then out of the compact barrel, also a max expansion of 0.63 inches with a minimum expansion of 0.612 inches. So overall, they all look really, really good. All right, for our last test, we're gonna see how this round performs through heavy clothing. We have four layers of different kinds of clothing material, and we're gonna start with our Glock 43X. go ahead and resituate that. So I'm guessing I'm going to have to resituate the clothing in between each one of these shots, but that's all right. All right, next up we have our four inch barrel. Last up, four and a half inch barrel. All right, we'll see how they did. We have really good results for the heavy clothing test. As you can see, all of the rounds appear as though they expanded pretty well. Um, we have good penetration. We did have one round from the full size barrel that came in straight, but then it curved off to the right and exited the block at 14 and a half inches. So I just took it upon myself to fire another shot. My battery ended up dying, so I couldn't film it, but it's in there. So as far as results go from the Glock 43X, the subcompact barrel, we have these two right here. Um, they penetrated to a depth of 17 and a quarter and 17 and three quarter inches. And you can see those are those two right there. And then from the compact barrel length, the Glock 19, we actually got a little bit less penetration. This one down here is kind of peeking out the bottom. It, it looks like it curved downwards and actually just touched the table. So that one stopped right at 16 and a quarter inches. And this one stopped right at 17 and a quarter inches. <clears throat> Through the full sized, like I said, one of them passed through, uh, came out the right-hand side of the block, 
at 14 and a half inches, so I just fired another one. Um, our results for that are uh, 17 and three quarter inches, and then up here, we have one all the way out to 19 inches. So even though that exceeds the standard of 12 to 18 inches, I mean, 19 inches works for me. I'll take that. But overall, it looks good. Let's see how they expanded. As you can see, we have really good results throughout. The bullets up top are after passing through heavy clothing. Off to the left, these two are from the Glock 43X. In the middle here, these are from the Glock 19. And then on the far right, these two are from the Glock 17 barrel. And as you can see, they all expanded very symmetrically. Um, they're very uniform and consistent throughout. They all had good penetration. They look good. So starting out with the Glock 43X, on the left here we have a minimum expansion of 0.585 inches and a max expansion of 0.606 inches. In the middle here with the Glock 19, we have a minimum expansion of 0.555 inches and a max expansion of 0.59 inches. And then with the Glock 17, we have a minimum expansion of 0.548 and a max expansion of 0.598 inches. My overall impression of the 9mm 124 grain Federal Premium HST is that it is a solid performer. Even out of the short barrel and through heavy clothing, um, the muzzle velocities were good. The expansion and the penetration were all flawless and very consistent, very reliable. And for that reason, I plan on continuing to carry this round in all of my defensive pistols. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the numbers and stats from this video down in the description below. Otherwise, if you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and leave it down in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again.